Hi, this is Daniel from CR Kennedy, the Leica Icon distributors here in Australia. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a basic as built and also have a look at some of the customizable menus we've got. First of all, we open up our as built app. Now at the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see three buttons. If we press and hold any one of those buttons, we have a customizable menu. For this job here, I'm interested in start, point ID and start line. Hit our green tick to continue. Now, because we have no data already here and we're not interested in heights at this point, I'm not gonna do any setup routines. So, ensure your instrument's locked and hit start. Now, if we head over to our first feature point, in this case, this drain. I wander over to the top of it. I level up. Now, before I hit store, if I select point ID here, I could write drain, I could write anything I want. But to keep things nice and quick, I'm gonna write D1 for drain one. Now, when I hit store, that point is automatically called D1. Now, if I head over to my second point or my second drain and store a point, you'll notice that the point is labeled D2. Now, this will continue going until you change your naming convention. Now, secondly, I'm interested in these boards here. I'd like to know where the footings are in relation to these drains. Now, I could go and select and create a point at every one of those corners, or I can just draw a line in between all of them. So, if I go over to my first point, level up, I'll change my point ID to F1 for footing one and I hit start line. Now when I hit store, F1 is captured. But if I go to my second point, and level up, when I hit store, you'll notice a line. These two points are now connected. When I'm finished with this particular line, I hit just hit stop line. You can do this for any points that you would like to create a line from. For example, say you wanted to do this boundary. You can just keep capturing point after point and it connects all the points until you're finished. There is also an option here while we're selecting and changing our point ID, you can have customizable codes. So if you need color coding or little symbols to denote cold water or hot water, you can pre-select and pre-store all of those. Now, another point to note as well is that while I've been walking around tracking this prism and capturing all my points, you don't actually need to do that. All the icon total stations come with optics. So if all your points that you need are visible, you just point the scope at the point, line up the crosshairs and hit store. Comes in handy if it's a busy site and you've got limited access. 